Hello, I'm Brian Frecking. I'm the Livestock Specialist for Oklahoma State University in the Southeast District and today I'm here with Dr. Barry Whitworth and in a minute we're going to de demonstrate how to pull blood for pregnancy diagnosis on, on a sheep and the equipment we need uh, to do this project is an actual blood tube. So we've got a blood tube here and we want to make sure we, we mark the individual animal. Uh, in this case it's going to be a letter and the tube number. So in this case, this is our sixth one that we've actually sampled today. And to pull blood, we need a vacutainer that has a needle on it, and we change those out each time. And so we've got the vacutainer. You stick the animal, and the, the vacuum in this tube will pull some of that blood right into the tube, and we need about a 2 cc uh, amount of blood to uh, send off to the labs. If we do not have this uh, vacutainer and tubes, we can also utilize syringes and a disposable needle on that as well and we need to uh, change out the needle and the syringe on every animal we test. Alright so he's putting pressure with his left hand and he's got the right hand with the tube in his hand and he, he found the vein because it, pr it puts pressure on it you can kind of see the, uh, the blood being pumped through that vein and so he's going to use that tube and pull that blood the pressure in that tube is going to pull the blood into the tube. So we want to, each time we uh, take a sample, we're going to use a new needle and a new, new tube to uh, reduce the uh, chance of contamination from one sample to the other, and that's how you could, you could get some, some bad results in sending the, sending the blood to the lab. So what he's doing now is making sure, putting a little pressure, making sure the blood stops. Uh, in most cases with wool sheep, it's going to stop pretty quick. Okay, once we've uh, collected a sample from an animal, we've, we've labeled the tube and the animal's identification number. So we've got a, a tube number five here and the animal's ear tag was 47. And uh, so the question might be, when should we take a sample for pregnancy diagnosis? In sheep and goats, we want to wait 30 days post breeding. Uh, it's, it's measuring a specific blood placental protein. And so we could have a false positive if we collect a sample too soon after that animal is uh, given birth. So we always want to send off a sample that's uh, been 30 days post, post breeding date. Uh, the cost of this is usually somewhere around six and a half dollars for uh, the lab analysis and the tubes and the, the vacutainers and that kind of stuff is going to run you somewhere around 50 cents a head. So, in this particular case, we're going to send it off to this lab, and they require some kind of a sheet that uh, provides the tube number and the animal identification. So when they send the results back to you, uh, you can match up the results with the animals uh, in question. As you saw in the last uh, video clip, we, we pulled a blood sample from a, a sheep, and the same procedure can be done on goats. Uh, you know, the only difference is, is you may not have to shear those uh, goats as much as you would the, sh the sheep. Uh, the reason we pulled the samples, we did want to find out if that, that ewe was pregnant. And again, we want to, we want to make sure it's been 30 days post uh, breeding date uh, to send that sample off. And, uh, uh, you know, anytime, it's just one of those things as a management practice, if we're not sure about a, a ewe that uh, has been kind of uh, been late to, to to lay them out like the rest of them. We just want to make sure she's pregnant and if she's not then we can uh, put her into a, a breeding program to accelerate that process a little bit, not wait around for it. For more information about uh, sheep and goat reproduction management practices you can contact your local county extension center.